हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल और टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट वेल्डिंग इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड फिलर वायर्स सो दीज इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड फिलर आर वायर्स विच आर यूज इन गैस शील्डेड आर्क वेल्डिंग इफ आई से गैस शील्डेड आर्क वेल्डिंग इट मींस जीएमए डब्ल्यू दैट इज मिग वेल्डिंग जी टी ए डब्ल्यू दैट इज टिक वेल्डिंग एंड प्लाज्मा आर्क वेल्डिंग सो ऑल दीज थ्री वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस कम्स अंडर गैस शील्डेड आर्क वेल्डिंग जी ए फुल फॉर्म ऑफ जी एम ए डब्ल्यू इज गैस मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मिग वेल्डिंग समटाइम्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज मैग वेल्डिंग इफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज यूज एज अ शील्डिंग गैस एंड फुल फॉर्म ऑफ जी टी ए डब्ल्यू इज गैस ट्रंजेस्टन आर्क वेल्डिंग ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज स्टिक वेल्डिंग एंड पी ए डब्ल्यू इज प्लाज्मा आर्क वेल्डिंग सो ऑल थ्री वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस आर नोन एज गैस शील्डेड आर्क वेल्डिंग सो टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट द वेल्डिंग इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड फिलर वायर्स विच आर यूज इन दीज वेल्डिंग प्रोसेसेस See for GTAW and plasma arc welding, uh, electrode tungsten electrode is used and a separate filler metal is used. And in GMW the electrode and filler metals are same. So basically we'll talk about the electrode and filler metal which is used in MIG welding and the filler metal which are used in GTAW and plasma arc welding. So normally we'll talk about the filler metal uh, made up of carbon steel. and stainless steel so these two filler metals are these two category are very uh, widely used in the industry so in carbon steel you will see er70s2 70s3 70s4 6 7 and e70c3x and e70c6x so these all electrodes or filler metal are of carbon steel and in stainless steel you will see 308 308l er309 er309l er316 er316l 310347 so these are not all but these are some of the most widely used carbon steel and stainless steel electrodes we will learn about these electrodes the nomenclature the usefulness the significance of these electrodes in this video so before starting this uh, video let me give you a brief introduction of myself my name is sandeep anand i am a mechanical engineer and i am having 14 plus years of working experience my website is weldingandnt.com and my youtube channel is weld youtube.com/weldingandnt so i used to share my knowledge through my website and my youtube channel friends you can support my initiative financially by joining my channel see after subscribing my channel you see a join button or a join icon so by pressing this join icon and paying a very small amount you can become a channel of a member of my channel and you can support my initiative financially so let me give you the reference the reference is asme section 2 part c so all the things which i'll you know explain today that has been taken from asme section 2 part c asme section 2 part c is exclusively for electrodes and uh, filler metals so in asme section 2 part c the aws classification sfa 5.1 it is given and sfa 5.1 it is for carbon steel electrodes and filler metal which are used for gas shielded arc welding as i told you earlier gas shielded arc welding is gmw gtw and paw so for carbon steel electrodes you need to refer sfa 5.18 which is given in sme section 2 part c similarly for stainless steel electrodes you need to refer sfa 5.9 and for low alloy steel electrodes you need to refer sfa 5.28 so today in this video i'll explain the carbon steel electrodes and stainless steel electro electrodes these are very commonly or very widely used in the industry so i'll explain everything about these electrodes but before start before moving forward let me ask you a very common question and this question is often in fact very often asked in the interviews and the question is which electrode or filler metal is used or is commonly used to weld mild steel to stainless steel which electrode or filler metal is commonly used for mild steel to stainless steel welding so this question is often asked in interview and in fact i have also uh, faced some interviews in which directly they asked me this question that which electrode can will be used for mild steel to stainless steel like uh, welding so friends you please write down the answer of this question i will explain this answer in the last of the video so 
लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ कार्बन स्टील इलेक्ट्रोड और फिलर मेटल सो द नोमन क्लेचर ऑफ कार्बन स्टील इलेक्ट्रोड और फिलर मेटल इज लाइक दिस फर्स्ट देर विल बी ई आर देन टू डिजिट्स देन आइदर एस और सी विल बी रिटर्न एंड देर विल बी सम ऑप्शनल डेजिनेटर्स लाइक आफ्टर डैश आफ्टर हाइफन सो दिस ई आर रिप्रेजेंट्स दैट दिस इज एन इलेक्ट्रोड और सॉलिड रॉड रॉड इट इज एन इलेक्ट्रोड और रॉड सो इन द केस ऑफ मिग इट विल बी एन इलेक्ट्रोड एंड फॉर टिक इट विल बी एन रॉड नाउ आफ्टर ई आर टू डिजिट्स विल बी दियर दीज टू डिजिट्स रिप्रेजेंट्स द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ देन आइदर एस और सी विल बी रिटर्न सो एस रिप्रेजेंट सॉलिड वायर इट इज अ सॉलिड वायर एंड after hyphen if some digit is given so that digit you know gives some chemical composition of that rod for example we'll take er70s6 this is a very popular filler wire er70s6 so the er first two letter er designates that it is a electrode it is an electrode or rod the Two digit after SR that is seventy. Seventy represents the minimum tensile strength, and this minimum tensile strength is of the you know the welding for the welding which you will do with this electrode. So that weld will have the minimum tensile strength of seventy ksi, or it is seventy thousand psi. KSI full form of KSI is kilo pounds per square inch. So the tensile strength will be either seventy KSI or seventy thousand psi. PSI full form of PSI is pounds per square inch. Then S S represents or S stands for it's a solid. It's a solid wire. And if there is C, that C will represent that it is a composite wire. then finally this optional designator 6 what does it mean so 6 indicates specific chemical composition so to be particular 6 meaning of 6 is that more deoxidizers have been used or added to the wire which is helpful when welding on dirty or rusty steel so er70s6 is very helpful when welding on dirty or rusty steel it will give good results now after nomenclature we will see the popular carbon steel electrodes or filler wire so i have taken three more most used carbon steel filler metal or electrode that is er70s6 i explained you the meaning of er70s6 then you have er70s2 then er70s3 so these are widely used carbon steel electrode see 70s6 is most widely used filler metal for carbon steel and it offers good strength excellent weldability and suitable for wide range of application and it is very it gives good result on dirty or rusty steel as i told you earlier now 70s2 is also similar to 70s6 and it provides good strength and weldability and it is often chosen for thinner carbon steel materials so for thin carbon steel it can be used then er 70s3 it is also similar to very much similar to s70s2 but it offers slightly better elongation property so it gives slightly better elongation properties as compared to 70s2 and it is commonly used to welding thin gauge carbon steel now we'll see the stainless steel electrodes so stainless steel electrodes are you know designated by in a different way first er will be there and after er three or four digits will be there so er as i told you earlier er represents the it is an electrode or rod but after er three digits will be there these three digits gives the nominal chemical composition of the stainless steel nominal chemical composition of the stainless steel these three digits will represents the chemical composition of the stainless steel and some optional designators are also used like e308 after 308 sometimes you will see l so optional designators are like l h l r etc are used so these are used to show the chem chemical uh, you know symbols like 
एल रिप्रेजेंट्स लो कार्बन कंटेंट एच रिप्रेजेंट्स हाई कार्बन कंटेंट एल आर रिप्रेजेंट्स लो रेसिडियोल्स इफ आई से लो कार्बन कंटेंट लो कार्बन कंटेंट मीन्स दैट द कार्बन कंटेंट इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द लोअर रेंज ऑफ दैट सीरीज लाइक सपोज द कार्बन कंटेंट इज बिटवीन एक्स परसेंट टू वाई परसेंट एक्स इज द लोअर रेंज एंड वाई इज द हायर रेंज देन इफ देयर इज एल इन दैट इलेक्ट्रोड इट शोज दैट द कार्बन विल बी रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू एक्स परसेंट ओनली एंड इफ द इफ देर इज एच ऑन द इलेक्ट्रोड इट मीन्स दैट द कार्बन विल बी रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वाई एच वाई परसेंट ओनली सो यू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ई आर थ्री जीरो एट एल ई आर रिप्रेजेंट्स द इट इज एन इलेक्ट्रोड और रॉड थ्री जीरो वेट विल रिप्रेजेंट द नॉमिनल केमिकल कंपोजिशन सो टू सी द केमिकल कंपोजिशन ऑफ थ्री जीरो एट यू नीड टू गो टू एस एन ई सेक्शन टू पार्ट सी इन दैट दे हैव गिवन द केमिकल कंपोजिशन ऑफ थ्री जीरो एट सो थ्री जीरो एट बेसिकली यू कैन से इट इज अ कोड विच गिव्स द केमिकल कंपोजिशन ना एल एल मीन्स दैट इज अ लो कार्बन कंटेंट and carbon percentage is restricted to the lower part of the specified range so if we will talk about 309 the carbon content shall be up to 0.03% now you see the popular stainless steel electrodes or filler metal so you have 308 or 308l this is one of the commonly used stainless steel electrode and it is used to weld 30L or 30L parent metals or steel grade it go gives good corrosion resistance and is suitable for a wide range of application then you have E316 or 316L so 316 or 316L can be used to weld 316 or 316L parent metal and it gives higher corrosion resistance uh, if uh, you need uh, corrosion resistance more than the 30L or 30L grade then you can use 316 it gives higher and uh, due to uh, since it gives higher corrosion resistance that's why it is used in marine environments and it is also used in pharmaceutical equipment and oil and gas industry now you have er309 or 309l 309 or 309l is very popular when welding dissimilar metal welding see uh, see if you have stainless steel to carbon steel welding or stainless steel to low star low steel low alloy steel welding then you will use these electrodes they provide good strength and resistant resistance to thermal cycling making them suitable for applications such as dissimilar metal welding it is also suitable for overlying and cladding applications now you have er310 er310 is used to weld 310 grade and 314 grade it offers excellent temperature oxidation resistance and is commonly used for furnace components heat exchanger and similar applications then you have er317 and 3347l so this is used to weld 321 grade and 347 grade of a stainless steel and they contain contain niobium and tantalum and due to niobium and tantalum it uh, it help in preventing the intergranular corrosion corrosion and carbide precipitation during welding in high temperature applications friends if you want to learn the mechanism of intergranular corrosion then i have explained the entire mechanism means how this corrosion happens what are the remedies should be taken to avoid intergranular corrosion i have explained with the help of figure and diagrams in my cswift chapter 17 video lecture series so if you want to learn more about intergranular corrosion you please watch my cswift chapter 17 video lecture then you have er2209 so this is basically used for welding duplex stainless steel grades and duplex stainless steel grades approximately 22% chromium such as uns s31803 and s32205 so these are duplex stainless steel and it is having nominal chemical composition of 22.5% chromium 8.5% nickel 3% moly and 0.5% n so this is the popular stainless steel electrode or filler metal now we'll come back to our question which i asked with you which i asked you initially that which electrode or filler metal is commonly used for mild steel to stainless steel welding so friends now you will be able to answer this question and the answer of this question is 
ER309L. So this is, uh, there are many, you know, electrodes which can be used for uh, this purpose, but ER309 is most suitable uh, and most economical for this purpose. It, uh, and ER309 electrode is an austenitic stainless steel electrode. See, if you'll see, Three, uh, 309 or any stainless steel grade starting with 3. So if it is starting with 3, then it will be an austenitic stainless steel. So the filler metal provides good strength and corrosion resistance making it suitable for joining carbon steel and stainless steel. And ER, particular ER 309L contains 23 to 25% chromium, 12 to 14% nickel. So these are the chromium and nickel contents along with the chromium and nickel there are many other elements also and uh, the maximum carbon content in 309L will be 0.03% and it uh, due to low carbon you know percentage it helps in prevent the formation of carbides that could lead to intergranular corrosion. So as I told you earlier that if you want to learn the mechanism of intergranular cor corrosion please watch my c -Sweep video lecture series. Now, other filler rods which can also be used to weld stainless steel to mild steel are ER316L, it, is, it can be also used. So it has higher chromium content than 309L and you can use 308 also but it is not as corrosion resistant as 309L but it is less expensive. And you have 309L SI also, this can also be used to weld carbon steel to mild steel in, but this is a expensive electrode again you have ER3 NICR MO3 this is also one of the expensive electrode these two electrodes can also give good result with uh, carbon steel to mild steel welding so friends with this we have come to end of our today's video I hope you like this video thank you very much